Hello guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to be doing another unboxing video and also we're going to be doing a rehousing. So I'm going to show you um, today how to do an enclosure for a tarantula, especially, um, specifically on this um, genius that we're going to unbox today. So this box came from Tropical Factory, so shout out to Mache. So this is one of the greatest, uh, I mean best genius for beginners and to be honest, I really want to keep one of this. I've got a juvenile already, but it's still insects. And it's still a bit small, but they are known to be medium to fast growers. So I'm expecting that it would be like around 10 centimeters easily within like five, six months probably, or a year. Um, these pieces are great as well because of their coloration and everything. So I will show you later on. How they look like wait just give me one second so as usual is a great packaging and it looks like a sandwich <laughs> all right so le let's leave this on the side I have been waiting for this I was actually watching this on their website for like a couple of weeks now and I was so tempted to get this. So this is a uh, sub-adult to adult female already. So which is ready to uh, pair. So I'm looking for a mature male to pair this one straight away. So as you can see <laughs> it's, it's still a teaching <laughs> all right anyway so here is the um how do you call it the container for the tarantula which we're going to be unboxing later on right now i'm going to do the enclosure first so these enclosures are really good they're actually one of my favorite enclosures now as they are very light and they are great for displays as well. So shout out to Tarantula Room, to Christoph for this enclosure. He is doing this in amazing enclosures by himself. So, there we go. Look at that. So this is a 29 by 25 enclosure. And he gave me one freebie uh, glass water bowl. Leave this on the side. So first, let's take this plastic thing. So you can see how clear this container is. have to get rid of inside as well which is pretty easy to be honest Bye. I want all the plastic to go out yes yeah. amazing so there we go that's the enclosure pretty sturdy and yeah so first step in doing enclosure is to add your substrate so for this one i have made the substrate ready which is cocoa fiber so i normally buy blocks and then just put some water in it and then just leave it until um it spreads out so this is the new substrate that I, put, that I made it's still a bit wet that's why I'm gonna put it under because this particular genus that we're gonna rehouse today they leave uh, on dry substrate so we're gonna try to make the substrate as dry as possible However, I'm just going to make it like a thin layer at the bottom 
because I'm not sure if my drug substrate will be enough. There we go. I'll do one more. One more. And yes. So now, I've got this dry substrate ready. So it's mixed with uh, leaves and dry moss. Yep, let me just check. This should be fine. No. And then now, the next step is the cork bark or the hide. Oops, sorry. Sorry for the video, <laughs> I just realized it now. So, I have made this one ready. Let me just try to fit this first. Yep, should be fine. So what I normally do, I try to bury it at the very bottom and then push it so that it's going to be stable and it won't move. Let me just check. Yeah. And then let me try to add a fake plant in here, probably. Yep, that would do there. So again, push it at the bottom so it's stable. And I bought this skull as well for this species because they are known to make great webbing. So I'm going to try to fit it here if it fits. Just check how it looks. Yep. Actually, let's. Uh, I'm gonna put it on the other side because basically the line here. So I want this to be the background instead. So I'm gonna move this one here. Stick at the end. Yep. And then the skull here. To give it a scary feeling. <laughs> Fake plant there. And let me try to add a bit more cork bark just for decoration for design. I love decorating my enclosures a lot because I think like decorating enclosure is an art. <laughs> it's not going on though. Come on, yes. So this particular species is semi arboreal. So they could stay up on uh, that center bar or they could be borrowers. So as an adult, they stay out more often out like on display. That's why we're trying to um, make a good webbing point. So this one would probably look better here. Or I'll do it like this here. Go around. So sorry, because I'm a bit perfectionist. <laughs> so I like it really perfect. This one here.
let me check how it looks. Yep. I have moss straight there. Uh, let me try to find another cork bark to use. Because I like it to look natural, but still has an art, a touch of art. <laughs> I think that should be enough. Let me just check if I have another big one. Oops, that is small. Small. This one is not nice. It's gonna be a lot. All right. And I'll put the water bowl here on the side. Let me just check. Amazing. So just give me one second. Let me just add some rocks as well. I genuinely love this um, slate rocks. I love using rocks in my enclosures. But let me check how, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I think that should be fine. Just try to add one more here. Yeah, I'll just use this one here as well. <laughs> oh, no. Making sure everything is stable, doesn't move. And yeah, we're good to go. So that is the enclosure I made for my green bottle blue tarantula. And we're ready to rehab. So look at that. So that's it. And then now we are ready to rehouse. There we go. So it's be careful tarantula inside. So what I'm gonna do is I will just normally leave it there. Get my catch cup ready. So every time you uh, rehouse a tarantula, make sure, especially like bigger tarantulas, make sure you have a uh, catch cup ready in case of bolting because tarantula sometimes they bolt straight away whenever you open this pack oops and she is upside down So where is she? Whoa. Oops. <laughs> wow. 
There she is. So just close up. That's my female uh, GBB. Green bottle blue. Yeah. So, so we're done today, guys. Uh, we did the rehousing and unboxing for my green bottle blue, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video if you want to see more as well. We're gonna do more unboxing for uh sure coming up soon and uh, yes i hope i'll see you guys again later thank you so much and have a great day